Welcome back everyone to yet another horror game installment. Today we're going to be playing an episodic horror that's known as Fears of Fathom. So there's going to be a few episodes that they're going to be uploading and each one is apparently of a survival story that's been sent through from someone and they've turned it into a nice little game that we can play through. So this episode that we're going to be playing is called Home Alone. So just like me as I am home alone today, except I'm doing it during broad daylight, this person's going to be experiencing, I take it, some horrors while being home alone at night. The joys. So let's head on through. Okay, so if you have a story to share, send it to... So I take it that they taking these stories that people are submitting and obviously now they're turning it into a game and stuff but our main goal is to survive like these people in real life survived instead of probably ending up dismembered or something <laughs> okay so i'm going to be playing home alone in this episode and then we'll look at doing norwood hitchhike another time um Uh, I was supposed to read that, but I kind of blanked. Okay, so let's do this. July 12th. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit, just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. Fine, we're not all writers. I guess I'll just start. Oh, I didn't pour juice. <sighs> it was the middle of summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip. I don't want to put it too loud. Which means I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Though I did plan on fixing that. <laughs> Sounds like my sleep schedule at the moment. Is that your alarm tone? I woke up at around 8 after a nap that evening. love that everything's like okay oh the audio like you can hear the ticking of the clock and okay my footsteps are a bit weird okay Calm yourself. I know you just woke up from a nap, but sheesh. Okay, I don't know why you would want to listen to that. Okay. Oh, such a pretty view. What's this? Hmm. I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Hmm. I love how you can even hear the cars pass by the window, like the, you can hear the audio of it. Okay, well. Let's go eat. Hmm. Okay, let's see, mom. Wait, when are you guys going to be back? Dad and I are going to be back on Monday, honey. Didn't I tell you that yesterday? Cool. Take care, honey. Sleep on time. I hope you'll get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount, can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check it's them on the door before opening it. Check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, Mom. Dad and I may be back by Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14. Mom, I'm 14. Like, I can handle myself. I think I'm going to take a little nap. Probably going to order some pizza. Yes. No need to order anything. Already made your lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Hmm. And from Mason Oliver. Yo. Yo. You're coming to Jessica's tomorrow? Yeah, I heard Josh coming too. What about you? I don't know. I hate. 
I used to type in abbreviation, but because I am an aspiring writer at this point in time, it irks me. It really irks me when people type with this and that. Like, don't be lazy. Just type the full sentence out. Uh, what's wrong? When you gonna see her yesterday? She didn't show up. It's like I don't even matter to her. You matter unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared, then your energy. I guess I'm energy then. How's Kim? Yeah, crap. I totally forgot. Probably gonna do tonight. It's all the same. My parents are out for the night. When I come over, we can play Mario Kart too. I'll let you know. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Call Josh too. I can't promise, dude. May have plans with Nat. Hey! I don't know about any Mason, but... Why would you crouch to look through the blinds when you can just, like, spread them? Like, that's what I do with my blinds when I want to look through them. I just spread them and look through. I don't pull them up like that and crouch down. I'm a waste of time. Okay, so I think the kitchen's downstairs. I don't know. What's in here? Ugh! Just whack me in the face like that. Don't ask me why, but I went straight to my parents' room to check for intruders. Check out the window. I love how they've got the sounds and everything of a neighbor of a neighborhood, I mean. Some weird audio going on here. Okay. Let's go downstairs. I don't that makes no sense to me. I don't know why you would crouch to look underneath Ah, kitchen. My bunnies just scared the shit out of me. Okay. Oh! Oh, look at this. This is nice. I was about to say, can I walk on the grass? Do they have water in the pool? Hey, I'm swimming! Straight after my nap. Weird. The way that he goes, he or she, I don't know. Take it to he. So, what? Just, no! Outside doors should open inwards, not outwards. Mine opens inwards, otherwise you get smacked in the face like that. Weird, make, unless it's just where I live that that's how it works, but... Nevertheless, let's go find this food. Oh, it's obviously not going to be in the cupboards. Lasagna. No. Um, okay. I didn't want to take that, but let's just chuck that on the counter. Oh, nice. Okay, lasagna. Food was cold. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> I love like it's the only thing I hate about first person games is a lot of the times they don't take the effort in I don't know it's also probably a lot to do with budget and stuff but then a lot of times you like you're just this floating see-throughness invisibility like look at that you can see that float but you can't see yourself the mechanics what It's a very noisy oven, I'm not gonna lie. So can I pick up the bottle? I hope I didn't... Aha! Food was nice and hot, I like watching TV while I ate. But what if I wanted to sit in the chair and eat? Okay! TV it is. That a bit. Is these all radios? Because damn, they've got no short supply of radios then. Okay, we'll put the TV on. 
do I seriously have to get up and put like do they not own a TV remote my soul This is nice. Okay, so how do you... Oh. Oh, that sound. That sound is terrible. Oh. What is that noise? Someone in the house, and this dude is just eating his damn lasagna like he's one. Like that would have definitely caught the corner of my eye if I was sitting on the couch. Unless he was too busy engulfing himself in this lasagna. Okay, I see he mentioned something about feeling sleepy, so let's just chuck that ball. Okay, now let's be a proper. Yes, you ate the whole lasagna. Let's be a little bit of a decent kid. And I remember I had to finish up on my homework. Can we drink? Because I'm sure you're gonna be I'm sure you're gonna be thirsty after that lasagna. Okay. So he wants to go do homework, but I saw someone walk upstairs. I lo oh wait, I think that's from the TV. So dramatic. Shut up. I can't do home a good you on. Okay. Are we gonna like have to run for our lives or Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to call it off man something just came out but you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow I'm sorry Miles gotta see you tomorrow don't forget Kim though chill out dude all good I'm probably I'll probably just go back to bed after Kim means the only place left could be my room. Um, do they not have a bathroom in this house? Like, hang on, I just gotta check this mechanic because if there's two rooms upstairs and there's a lounge and a kitchen and an outside, do these people not need a bathroom? No. Wait, did I not close that door properly? Jeez, like it. Unless the person came through that door and walked through the kitchen and came up the stairs. This is why you should keep your doors locked, man. And not just leave them open. Oh, you're taking forever to climb these. This family clearly doesn't care about personal hygiene. I'm hearing noises outside of the game. Where the hell did that person go? Okay, I'm gonna close this door. Just for safety reasons. Okay, let's small. Do our homework. 12.38 a.m. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Okay. Good for you. Look at you being a good student. Homework was done. Now I was off to bed. Okay. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paula this time. 
Gee, I'm still only home alone. I've got no one here with me, but okay. <coughs> One sixteen AM. I got up to get some water. So blurry eyed. Is that tapping? What is that tapping? Oh, it's the clock. Like, don't you put lights on? I wouldn't, you would never. Oh, it's the music. You would never catch me walking in the dead or night like this in the house. This audio is actually making me very anxious. What? I put you off. Debug mode, no signal. Okay. Everything is so serious now. Hey. Come at me, I'll throw you with a bottle. Oh, it must be so warm by now. What the? What, do you need more? Okay, let's give you more. I love how the lasagna bowl is gone. I don't remember him doing the dishes. You just lie there. Let's crouch. See nothing. No. And now the audio starts up again. That looks so creepy from the tree. Okay, just double check everything. Of course, you've got to do everything in the dead of night. Oh, wait, let's close the door. Close the door. Thank you. Okay, so I'll take it. We need to go back to bed now. Okay, close the door. Miles, who's that at the door? Are you there? Oh no. Oh no. What? What? Okay, let's hide. I swear I heard him like humming. Okay, what, so... What? Okay. Paula sent me, said he's been, cre said he's been creeping th through the windows. We're calling the cops. Your kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Oh, shit. Okay. Go back up the stairs. Go, 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 go. Just now he like, 
breaks the window while I'm peeping through it. I'm legitimately creeped out right now. We're calling the cops. Your kids locked every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Oh, shit. I'm genuinely getting scared now. Hear her, it's Paul at the door. Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be alright. Okay. Should I should I trust the well I'm sure I can trust that. Oh, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. Mm-mm. Squeaky noise. I don't know if I should trust that. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. No, 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 no. Because what if I go there and he grabs me? What am I supposed to do? Yo, okay, the cops are here now. Yay! I survived! Does that mean I can now go? just closes okay so that was pretty cool um it was quite scary because I mean it had me on edge because the, mo the mother texted and said no it's Paula at the door um so you think okay it's safe to go out and then you go out and then he's just actually waiting in the parents' bedroom. And you're like, oh, okay, fuck, what do I do? Do I chance trying to go past him? Do I just go hide back on the bed? Do I leave Paul outside? What do I do? So it really had me on edge there. Like, I didn't know what to do. What was the right thing to do? So I've got to say that that was generally pretty cool. Um, it's not a very long game. It was quite a quite a quick nice little playthrough but the fact that that possibly could have actually happened to someone like you hear so many scary stories about people home alone and what happens to them and stuff so the fact that that could have actually happened to somebody you know is actually legitimately scary because i don't know what i would have done in that instance i really don't know i don't know if i would have grabbed a pan and tried to defend myself or if i would have also just hid under the bed or because nothing stops them from coming in your room and looking under your bed. So I'd probably make sure I can take every measure I can with me under the bed. So should they do that, I can just pepper spray them or hit them with the pan or something like that. Um, but it's nice to know 
that there are neighbours out there that are genuinely concerned about, like genuinely concerned about people, um, their neighbours and stuff like that. So that was really, that was really a nice little game to play. I'm actually excited to play the Norwood Hitchhike one, uh, so I'll look at doing that one soon as well. But I actually, I'm actually very excited to see what or, what other episodes and everything that upload and all like that because I mean this is stories that are getting submitted by people so you know and a lot a lot of times there's a big chance that you know that actually happened to a person like you obviously can't always know if it's true or not but I would say it's more like a 80 to 90 percent that that actually legitimately happened to someone and the fact that they give you options to see if you can actually survive like the person that told the story or I don't know maybe if I went further I would have ended up dying and I would have been the sucker in the story but it's cool that they give you options to see if you can I take it do what the person in the story did so that's pretty cool I like that so I think I'm definitely gonna as they put the put each episode on and everything like that, I am definitely going to continue playing with that. Um, but for now, that was Home Alone. If you like the video, please hit the like button below. And if you want to keep up to date with any of my new uploads, just hit the subscribe button below. It's not going to... It's not going to do much except help support me, which I would greatly appreciate. But that is it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!